What's going on guys, MG here, and I'm back with yet another cryptocurrency video. So let's get after it guys. We got market cap 1.90 trilly. We are down 3.30%. Top gainers today, Plutus DFI. <laughs> DFI. <laughs> Plutus DeFi. I wonder if this is the same Plutus that's running on Cardano. Probably not. And wow, Decred. 14.96 dang old school uh 2017 uh staking coin right um what else uh 24 trading volume 177.24 billy up 58.45 percent and we got big daddy bitcoin here at 39,441 when we swing over to our gas prices guys we can see that let's actually just refresh that just in case we are two figs across the board shocking 34 for low 35 for average and 36 if you want your blocks confirmed on demand you know what i'm saying so let's go down the list here and see what's cracking we got bitcoin at 39,444 down 2.78% ethereum broke below 3k down 4.72 we got Binance here, 407, still holding down the 420 levels or close to it. XRP, 74 cents. Solana season, sub three figures, probably going to bounce up. We will see. Terra Luna Lunatics, now it is the, what, third largest um, stablecoin? It, 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 it beat out Binance uh, BUSD, really, really cool. We got my Cardano here at 90 cents. At AVAX, $75. Polkadot, 17 68 We got Dodge here, 13 cents. We got the Hexagons here at 11 cents. My SHIB, not that not, 246 We got Polygon here, $1.37. Neo Protocol, 1559 And FTX at $41. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Actually, let me take a sip of my drink. Hang on. Today's beverage of choice is uh, black coffee. Uh, I forget where in the world the uh, these beans came from, but it's it's fire, so it's uh, looking good. We got Litecoin here at 107, Cosmos 23, my chain link 13 dollars and 36. Um, chain link, or there's actually an oracle powered by chain link that actually calculates the true inflation. Really, really cool there. Hollertronics here at six cents. Uh, Algo seventy two. Stellar Lumens nineteen cents. This is like a huge resistance level. This reminds me of like back when Cardano was trying to break ten cents. It took like almost over a year for that to, to fucking happen. So we got my Monero here up eight point eighteen percent, guys. You guys know I hold uh, I hold Monero a, a pretty decent bag of it, and I do not plan to sell. I'm just gonna use it. And I'm glad that it's up. Uh, we got V uh, Chain here, V Chain Soldiers, five cents. Uh, we got Uniswap, wow, sub ten dollars, getting tempted there. Filecoin twenty, close to twenty bucks. Juggalos sixteen fifty three. Apecoin looking apish at eleven dollars and thirty three. Axie Infinity forty four. Decentraland two. Sandbox two dollars and sixty. Theta Token two ninety one. FTM dollar ten. Tezos three dollars and eight cents eos good ye old eos two dollars and 38 and then we got my graph here at 34 cents overall we're all down you know what else is new uh <coughs> excuse me we may be possibly entering a bear market we will see we may be what is it experiencing max pain i don't know we will see there's just so much stuff happening right now i think the fed is going to raise the rates here in a couple weeks next month by a half a a half a percent point so we'll see what's going on and then when we look at our fear and greed index we are at extreme fear <laughs> back where we're back to fear boys uh this is probably why i'm getting super tempted to market bias right we right now we're extreme fear yesterday we were fear <laughs> last week we were fear last month we were fear so we're just scared across the board guys so interesting stuff there so when we swing over here let's just refresh here we're going to talk about lux 289 rank 289 12 dollars and 21 cents we are down 2.1 percent on the usd pair 31,000 sats down zero up 0 0.4 on the satoshi pair and then we have 
416,726 ETH up 2.3, market cap sub 200 milli at 186 milli. Search supply and total supply are still the same. And as far as price is concerned, 70.2% off, fantastic discount. When we look at our markets here, of course, our big players here, Gate.io, KuCoin, Uniswap, Uniswap V2 and V3, bringing in the lick. And of course, we have the other guys here participating as well. So, uh, and when we look at our holders here, down 0.017%, but we're still healthily above five figures in terms of holders. So it's looking good there as per usual arrangement. And uh, I did recently just, you know, I, I've just recently bought some more Lux, just market buy, you know what I'm saying? And um, the... The choice was clear. It's like, uh, should I buy a should I buy a PS5? Because you know, I got these little notifications that pop up telling me when retailers restock, and I was like, damn, should I? You know, we're already two we're already two years into this weird console cycle, and it's like at this point, I'm just gonna wait for the PS5 Pro. So I said, fuck no, and I just bought more Lux, and I feel much better about that. So let's actually swing over to the charts here uh, real quick. Let's just take a look, ETJ. Let's just take a look at what Ethereum is doing because, you know, if Ethereum is feeling good, we are all feeling good, right? Because that's how it works in our market here. So let's actually see what the fuck is going on. It's literally been forever since I looked at an Ether chart here. So let's actually just swing up to the weekly real quick. So we are well above the 200 day and now the the 50 day is acting as resistance here. We have we've actually managed to maintain the structure here of key structural support level 2598 so we can say 2600 and we did have the swing high up here for a key resistance at 3573. And right now we're holding this uh local structure here at 2949 so it's looking like we may possibly go down and quite possibly test i would say maybe 2753 depending on what bitcoin how bitcoin is feeling but right now this is just our range here 25.62 percent what is that 14 13 percent up or down and when we look at the money flow for the weekly here we can see that um these bearish divergences actually popped off we went down we did not actually confirm a bottom bottom however we did bottom out here and we're starting to move up and it's, it's looking like the plan for the weekly was a bullish divergence that did not happen however our money flow our money flow is looking like it's starting to go down vwap looking like it's starting to go down stochastic rsa and rsa is starting to go down now seeing these th things on the weekly pretty much sets me up for what is going to happen in the daily followed by the four hour as well so we can see here that for the daily money flow is starting to go down vwap is going down and the rsi and stochastic rsi is starting to move down as well so we're definitely going to see some sell action happening here uh, as far as where ether is going to go you know no one knows like uh you know you you guys know our space uh news can just flip and it's crazy too because we had this uh, trend reversal uh last month and some good uh some good bullish continuation here and we can see that the ema ribbons are still bullish however they're starting to constrict and we just printed multiple red days so this is it this is uh, i just wanted to do this really quick just to set the tone so uh let's see what how Lux is doing. So when we look at the weekly here, we can see, wow, look at all these. Let me just delete all this shit. I just, I'm like, what? So it's looking like VWAP is going down under the zero line. Money flow is actually starting to go down. We've noticed this trend since, since this top. We identified this top here on the 8th of November. And we're still looking for a bottom. We're still looking for a bottom so we can confirm that bottom and then we can move on up 
and yet to confirm yet another bearish divergence, but we'll get there when we get there. However, what I'm looking at right now is we are seeing lots of action to the downside. And when we look at the weekly here, we can see that all EMA ribbons are starting to become bearish. We did close three red weeks here, and we can see that, uh, whoa, what is this? What is this? Why Extended line. Oops, I did not mean to pick that. Let me just delete everything here just to start fresh. Delete. So when we go here, we can see that the um, this is our key structural support level at $11.47. And we can actually use this high here as our key resistance level, $17.85. That, that seems so far away right now, but in the grand scheme of things, uh, not really. However, it's just, you know, our market conditions now is just so... A lot of people are just uncertain, you know. We're more like we're certain, but we're uncertain, if that makes any sense. So so we got the key resistance level at 1785. That's a major, major level to, for us to break out. However, our first challenger, you know, like uh, if you play Mortal Kombat, you know, the first endurance match, or if you're playing story mode on Street Fighter V, it's like the, the sub-bosses before you reach Bison or Gil, whatever fucking ver version you're playing, uh, it's the $15.71 level. Will we hit that? Um, from what I'm seeing in the technicals and money flow and everything, most likely not. But, you know, again, something could happen with Bitcoin and Ethereum and just pull on us up on that magic carpet ride to, uh, to gains, right? So... Now, when we go to the daily here, we actually did confirm this uh, bottom here. However, there's just a continuous level of selling going on. Uh, stochastic RSI and RSI, they're starting to look like they've hit a bottom and they're going to start to flatline here. However, money flow is just bloody, bloody. And uh, we can see here by the red dot that that's a confirmation of that. Uh, we can see here the money flow is just going down. Um, you know, guys are just, I don't know, just uh, you guys know over the weekend I don't really pay too much attention to the news. However, you know, the conflicts, the drama, all that other geopolitical shit is has not stopped or slowed down. And uh, we can see that that is reflected here in the price. One thing that we can truly, truly say that is still happening is the fundamentals and the development is still happening within this project. And we can see here now that the 50-day is acting as an additional resistance level at $14.13. So as far as I'm concerned, this is just yet more opportunities to get in not financial advice. And, you know, if Bitcoin goes below the 37000 key support level and ethereum breaks below the 27,000 key structural support level more than likely we may see a single figure lux and boys i will be very 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 tempted to back up the truck because when i see the when i see a single fig lux i will probably observe that on the lower time frames just to see what exactly is happening and if of course I'll, I'll i'll update you guys and see what what's happening on the lower time frames if there is a way to jump in on this because you know what guys like once later later in the future like the single figure two figure hell even in some cases three fig lux is, is literally going to be a gift and uh, i'm just glad that we are all fortunate enough to identify that gift and uh, swiftly move on it. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, be a bulldog on this kind of shit. So not financial advice. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. And I mean, yeah, I could probably catch some knives here and open up some bids at $11 or even lower. But, you know, it's Monday. People in the West are starting to wake up here in the, in the us so let's see what the what the players want to do. 
so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, enjoy your monday and please stay hydrated stay safe out there you know uh we will see what drama the week will bring because you know it's never a dull moment here in our space right so you know stay hydrated and all that stuff try not to pay too much attention to what's going on with the news and all of that crap wow this is actually like turning out to be a nice little accumulation range here so yeah anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one later <laughs>